Employers basically want people who will fit in. After all, what you do online shows your true personality. But your online profile is private information. So you think it's private? On the contrary. If I can see your profile by looking online, it's not private. It's public. It tells me things that I won't see in an interview. Yes, but... But what you see on social networking sites is not the whole person. Social networking sites don't tell you what people are like at work. I know what you mean, but you need to consider the cost. Employers need to be very careful about the people they employ because it's very expensive to recruit and train new staff. Yes, I agree. But on the other hand, as an employer, you can't own your employees 24-7. Everyone has a right to have fun in his or her free time. True, but if I'm looking at two people for the same job, I'll probably avoid the person who's always partying. However, just because they party a lot doesn't mean people are bad at the job. For some jobs, you need friendly, outgoing people. But it's not just party photos. It's blogs and postings and comments, too. For example, I don't want to hire somebody with an off-color sense of humor or someone who sounds arrogant. I want someone who will fit in and work well with other people. Well, I can see that. On the one hand, you don't want to employ difficult people. But on the other hand, people change at work and behave in a different way with friends. So while the internet may show you one side of a person, you really need to see what a candidate is like, in person, before you can decide. Online Footprints 3. Listening and Speaking but is it fair? B. Listen to two people debate the question above. Who answers, yes, it's fair, and no, it's not fair, to the question? Which of the reasons in your lists did they use?